Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's May again and today I'm back with another daily vlog. Um, so, but this is going to be a kind of like a special one, a special daily vlog because I'm, I'm gonna try my best to take care of myself and share with you guys my um, self-care tips. I just thought that it'd be gonna be fun so let's get started. So the first thing that I do is that because I just woke up so I'm gonna wash my face with toner. I don't usually wash my face with cleanser in the morning. I did that like about two years ago, but then since last year, I feel like um, I do not have to do that and it probably caused me breakouts. So I feel like, you know, in the morning, just use water or toner to wash my face is enough because there's such thing that's called over cleansing. Yeah, and it's not good for our skin because after all, cleanser, it's chemical thing anyway, so it's not good. So, okay, so next step is moisturizing like every other beauty blogger. Yeah, moisturizing, it's key. I want to get myself moisturized because I have oily skin. And I heard that oily skin is the type of skin that needs uh, Moisturizing the most. Uh, moisturizing it's good. I'm using rich moist soothing cream from Claire's too. You guys can see it. It's quite thick though. So if you don't like a thick moisturizer, you may not like this one. So normally in the morning, one of my favorite things to do is to drink coffee. But I don't have coffee in my home and also I'm too lazy to go to a coffee shop. So I would just skip that step today. Let's get to the next step. Oh, and also some of you guys may be wondering why I'm speaking English. Speaking English is also one of my self-care steps. Yeah, because um, I just love English and I feel... I don't know, even though English is not my mother tongue, but I feel super comfortable using it. Like, I'm not fluent, but I still feel some, some kind of comfort using the language, which is weird, but I love English, so yeah, I'm gonna be using English in this video. So, yeah. The next thing I'm gonna do, it's also one of my most favorite thing of all the things I can do on a day off, is to hang out with my sister with my little sister right here so yeah um i'm gonna cut her band so uh, we're sitting on the floor and i'm gonna do this first i'm gonna use this brush to brush her hair and this is the wet brush that my friend got me from the u.s this is literally the best brush i've ever used like it, it makes her hair very soft so yeah i love it Do you think so? Yeah, this is not too short, not too long, right? I think it's good. When it gets longer, just gonna Fancy. cut it again. Fancy cute. But I bought this very cute thing, not sponsored, but it's very cute. So I bought this uh, box of Taiwan food from also an Instagram store. It's called Taiwan Food. Yeah. And this is a box. It's like so cute, right? And guess what is inside? I'm super excited. You can see. Cat. Yeah, it's it's a super cute box. Pink, my favorite color. And when I open it, I'm gonna open it very carefully. Ah! Uh, there are like 20 types of Taiwan snack in here. It's like heaven in a box. I'm super excited. Oh my god, look at this. This looks super delicious. I love this. Okay, so <laughs> so now I'm gonna study Korean. The thing is that I came back to Vietnam for summer vacation and I really wanted to spend a lot of time on studying Korean but apparently it's not going as well as I planned because I had a lot of stuff to do like I hang out with my friends, I went to Ho Chi Minh City, I filmed videos um, and I don't know, just felt like I had a lot of stuff to do. And so, yeah, I haven't studied a lot of Korean. If I don't want to say that, I didn't study anything. 
Like I study bit by bit every day, but it, I, I don't feel like it's working and it's getting me very frustrated. So I don't want to do that. And so now I'm just going to try to study Korean as much as I, as I can. And it's also one of my self-care steps. And apparently procrastinating is something that I love to do. But I also hate it because it's not good for my mental health. It's very bad because procrastination just kind of like make things worse. to a shop that is super cute it's called Oxen shop and it's like one of the cutest shops I've ever been for it's like it sells like very cute stuff so I'm gonna go there it's her first time so she's very excited I've been there once and I was in love so yeah let's go with myself I know it sounds weird but I just want to be true to myself and I feel like sometimes um, life is too fast or we move too fast that we don't have time to take a look at everything and have time for ourselves like time for ourselves like maybe five minutes or ten minutes of thinking and talking and sharing with our own selves I think it's very important and it's gonna help a lot and I think that's what I'm about to do Hi, I'm back and it's been quite a very super busy weekend for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through everything that I did real quick to show you guys what I did. So after I did my makeup, I went to a bar to see my friends, to see Mutney and um, some of my new friends. I met new people and they are all very cool people. So we just had a lot of fun there. Uh, first, we were just chilling at a bar and you know talking to each other enjoy our drinks and then we decided to go to a club and to be honest it was my first time being in a club <laughs> and the club was like super dark and super loud music and we had some drinks and we just you know enjoyed the music and the vibe it was it, it was fun and then today it's Sunday and I went to church today like every other Sunday because I'm a Christian Some of you guys already knew that I'm a Christian because I share it like in my videos back then And um, today I received a very special message at 
the sermon, so I want to share with you guys. And so, before that, I just want to admit that these days I'm not feeling the best. And um, to be honest, I've been feeling a bit down. It's not really like stress or sadness or anything, it's just this emptiness and it's very hard to describe. Well, I think it's a normal thing, isn't it? I just want to say that it's normal. Hey, if you sometimes feel down or sad or stressed, or empty, lost, it's normal. It's totally normal and it's fine. I have to admit that I'm a positive person and I have those times too. So it's just a very human thing, you know? So don't worry about it. Don't listen to those people who say that. You should not be sad. Just cheer up and and um, why should you be sad? Your life is your life is totally fine. Look at all those people out there who who are like struggling with their lives and, and they're like in Africa or something. Yeah, of course. I know that my life is good and I love my life, but still, I'm still human. I'm, I'm still a, a normal human being and I can feel sad too. And I can feel down too. And it's just so normal and relatable. I, yeah, right. Okay, so come back to the story about the message that I received today. So if you ask what is the most important thing in Christianity, the most important thing is love. We are taught to love God and love everyone around us more than ourselves and today i went to church and uh, i was feeling like a bit down even though i was all smiling and stuff i feel like you know like i told you and then, and then today the pastor talked about love god is for us nếu đức chúa trời đứng về phía chúng ta ai có thể chống lại chúng ta romans the eight chapter romans the eight chapter Roma chương 8 Who can accuse him whom God has justified? Ai có thể ninh tội những kẻ mà Đức Chúa Trời đã xưng công bệnh? If you're a Christian, you know that God loves you. Nếu như bạn là cơ đốc nhân, bạn biết rằng Đức Chúa Trời yêu bạn. But this story wants to tell it a little deeper. Những câu chuyện này muốn nói chúng ta một điều còn sâu hơn cả điều đó. It's a story about how God loves you. Nhưng đây là câu chuyện về việc Đức Chúa Trời yêu bạn nhiều đến dần đạo. And how we want to live in this assurance. Và Ngài muốn để bạn sống trong một sự chắc chắn Not only that he loves you, but how much. Không chỉ là Ngài yêu bạn Nhưng mà còn Ngài yêu bạn đến giường nào It's the love between God and people And I realize that I'm really loved you know? I realize that I'm not alone I, Because I'm a Christian So of course I love God and, and I believe in God But then the thing is that I realize that He even loves me more than I do, do love him, you know? And that, that's just, that touched me. I don't know if you guys can get it or what. Of course, because it's my religion, so I believe in it. So I can really feel it. And that really touched me. And it encouraged me to keep going, and to keep loving people and keep trying to, to, to do better. Like I'm not trying to be perfect because I know that I can never be perfect but I'm trying to be the better version of myself every day. And also, the last thing I want to say, I've been ranting for too long, I'm sorry. The last thing I want to say is that having something to believe in is very important. I feel like we, need, we all need some kind of belief in our life. Even if it's just as simple as believing in yourself and believing in your friends or believing in your family be as simple as that. So I know that this vlog is not that interesting and I haven't done the best in the vlogging part but um, I think it's good to show you guys that my life is not perfect. I'm not that always hardworking and it's not like I always take good care of myself and take good control of, over my life, you know? Yeah, and a lot of you guys ask me that how can you stay positive all the time, man? I wish I had your life. But, you know, I'm just a normal human being and I have times like this too. And uh, I'm not perfect. And it's not like everything on the internet is true. And it's not like what you're seeing in, on the internet. It's what is actually happening. So, yeah, don't feel bad about yourself whenever you see someone who seems to be perfect on the internet. And I hope you guys like this video. 
I will try my best to come back with better videos in the future, maybe some videos in Korean if I can. I try my best to improve my Korean to be able to do that. I still love the fact that I'm inspiring you guys um, and I will try my best to be the better version of myself every day. Okay, thank you so much for watching again and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Maychan and bye-bye. Love ya. Okay guys, so I don't know how to play the piano, but then my, my sister taught me a bit, so I just like memorized it. Um, it's, it's the Christmas song. Mm -hmm.